Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome back to Feed the Chess Olympia 2020 and again I would like to show you a game from top division, uh, this time Pool B, very interesting game uh, and it was played um, during the match between Spain and South Africa, so uh, both of the players were actually reserved, so uh, they didn't play officially on the first board, uh, however from the Spain team we have Alexei Shirov. Alexei Shirov, who those who don't know, in the 90s he was number two in the world, very very strong um, grandmaster. Uh, now he is 48 years old, however, still very very strong. His rapid ranking. 2631 uh, he is not in the top 100 but almost because uh, he is in number 104 in this game he's gonna play as black and his opponent Johannes Madiedi Mabuzela uh, international uh, master from South Africa, his rapid ranking 2297, he is 36 years old and in this game he's gonna play as white. So uh, without further ado, let's see what happened on the board. Mabuzela open with d4, we have d5, c4, c6, so Slav defends on the board, knight f3, knight f6, knight c3 and now e6. So semi-Slav, very solid opening. Uh, but sometimes can be also very sharp by Alexei Shirov. Uh, we have exchange in the center, c takes on d5, e takes on d5, and now bishop g5 is the main line, however, uh, Mabu Mabuzela went for the sideline queen c2, and now also uh, against the super grandmaster, probably Shirov would go for the main line, maybe bishop e7, castle as fast as possible, however, against the, the lower rank opponent, uh, we have the sideline, knight a6, knight a6, uh, with the very simple idea, knight b4 can be played, you know, in the, in the right time. Uh, and now, of course, white should play a3, this is one of the lines, but also bishop g5, this is another line which Mabuzela played, so bishop g5, pinning the, the knight, uh, and now we have h6, kicking that bishop, bishop h4, so now the pin is still on the table, uh, and now knight b4, attacking the queen, now where to move the queen? Uh, Mabuzela went for queen b1, uh, the idea is to still keep control um, under f5 square because this bishop uh, would love to, you know, stay on f5 and together with this knight uh, it can be very, very dangerous. So Shirov went for g6, supporting um, any bishop f5 in the future, and now queen d1, making a space for the rook, because now only the rook can actually defend uh, c2 square. Uh, and look at this king, is still, you know, a couple of moves to, to castle, so the position starts to be, you know, very, very shaky for Mabuzela. We have g5, kicking the bishop first, bishop g3, and now bishop f5, threatening of course the fork, so uh, rook c1, defending that, and now queen a5. Uh, and now how to continue, Mabuzela could go uh, for very simple queen b3, uh, defending a2, because for now the knight can jump actually to a2, um, as the knight is pinned to the king. So a lot of problems now in the position, however Mabuzela went for bishop e5, uh, pinning the knight, attacking the knight and pinning it to the, to the rook. And now how to continue? Uh, and Shirov start to play quite an inaccuracy, however uh, keep in mind that he plays against a um, lower rank opponent. So it's also, you know, psychological advantage, you know, uh, but knight e4 is not that great move. Now, of course, the, the rook is hanging, so Mabuzela plays the best move in the position, bishop takes on h8, uh, and now he has to defend. So we have knight e2. Now we have very strong attack, a lot of pressure on c3, and now the only move, uh, maybe not the only move, but the best move in the position, knight d2. So again, Mabuzela plays brilliantly. We have knight e to c3, 
B takes on C3 and now how to continue as black? How to continue this attack? The king is still in the center. It's still, you know, uh, at least three moves to, to castle. So it's very dangerous position. And still three pieces, you know, can be coordinated in the attack. And also this bishop, keep in mind that if, for example, C3 pawn is, is taken, this bishop also, um, you know, can join the attack. So how to continue? It seems like knight c3 would be the strongest indeed. Uh, and after, let's say, rook a1, counter attack as the queen is under attack. So counter attack the, the, the queen. Uh, queen b6, then queen c1, uh, and maybe bishop b4. And the position is still very strong. The knight, for example, can come, come to e4 and so on. White probably would have to play something like f3 to take under control the e4 square, make the square, um, you know, space for the king and continue this way. And once if white, you know, consolidate the position, extra rook is always extra rook, so it should be okay. But it should be, you know, a still a lot of pressure here. However, uh, Shirov went all in and we have bishop a3 attacking the rook uh, and this actually is a blunder. Believe me or not, but Shirov blunder uh, and uh, it's actually the bluff. So uh, what Mabuzela should play in this position? Uh, pause the video and find the way uh, how to punish Shirov for not precise attack while I enjoy my cup of tea. Are you ready? So what Mabuzela should play is actually rook a1. Rook a1, very tricky. Now, how to continue uh, as black? Definitely the knight is under attack. So let's say knight c3, it looks like very logical. But now we have queen b3 and the bishop is attacked twice. Knight e4, checkmate. This is the very serious threat. But now white can refute that pretty easily. Queen e3, now the knight is uh, pinned to the king and also the bishop is attacked twice. So black are in completely lost position. The only way to continue is actually uh, queen d2, just, you know, do the extra exchange. Uh, but that, of course, is is easy win. Uh, white can take the knight, can take also the, the bishop and uh, white can enjoy, you know, extra rook. So that should be uh, easy win for white. Uh, also bishop b2, that's another idea to attack the rook, now um, the knight is defended, however now uh, white also can refute that the most energetic move without losing a tempo would be e4, e4 because white you know has already material advantage, so uh, why not to win um, the, the tempo, bishop e4 and now sacrifice the exchange, rook e2, uh, queen e2 and now knight e4 should be uh, enough to win uh, but there is even better move so if white has more more time then probably can find something like bishop c4 another move with tempo with the attack on the queen and then just simply castle uh, of course if black takes the the bishop then we're gonna have uh, knight e4 uh, and the position is completely uh, won by white. Okay, J just just castle and then continue, no problem. So for example, uh, castle on the on the queen side, then just castle and and so on. And if black tries something, I don't know, like f5, kicking the knight, the defender of, of c3, then the queen can join the attack. Even white even can sacrifice actually this this knight castle bring the rook to to e file and and together with the with the queen with the bishop that should be easy win for white as well so uh, that was possibility for Mabuzela to actually win the game. Rook a1 uh, seems very strong however he played um, rook c2. Rook c2 probably he calculated uh, some variation like bishop c2 and then after queen c2 
let's say knight c3 it's very strong uh, also uh, but white actually can can defend of course there is the there is the very serious threat knight can come to e4 uh, then the bishop and the, there is a lot of pressure on on d2 it's very difficult to defend but what white could do it's simply f3 take under control e4 uh, and then uh, after let's say bishop b4 uh, king f2 and there is no more pressure what white has to do somehow bring the rook to the game bring the bishop to the game consolidate the position and try to continue and with the extra bishop shouldn't be a problem to actually uh, win that game however Shirov this time played the best move in the position and he played knight c3 and now of course the, the queen is under attack and the queen cannot really move because the bishop controls c1 the knight controls also b1 and if the queen moves to to a1 um, then of course the the rook is without the protection so uh, we have rook c3 the only move queen c3 and you know material wise it's still in favor of white however the king is still in the center uh, and it's not so easy actually to continue uh, so Mabuzela wants to exchange the queen simplify the position he played queen b3 uh, and Shirov said okay let's exchange the queens we have queen b3 knight b3 so no more uh, mating attacks here we have bishop c2 attacking the the knight and now where to go with the knight the knight is under attack it cannot be defended uh, knight d2 probably would be would be the best in the position and um, a5 and this pawns are gonna be very very dangerous probably black actually can um can win that game however uh, mabuzela played knight c5 and you know in the position where there are no mating threats almost uh we have this brilliant move by shirov bishop b4 i hope you see that this is actually checkmate by bishops what a game what a game beautiful miniature by alexei shirov he could be punished if Mabuzela managed to, you know, play more precisely. Actually, it's everything about this move. Rook a1, Rook a1 uh, could help him to win the game. And it's still, you know, even with this knight d2, it still was uh, probably better for black, as these pawns would be very difficult to stop. However, the game still could continue, uh, but yeah, it's happened what it happened. We have the checkmate by two bishops. So look at this, uh, Alexei Shirov uh, played really uh, interesting games, not really precise, but at the end, the result is just spectacular. So congratulations. As I said, Spain was uh, not qualified to the quarterfinals nor to playoffs. Uh, Spain got the fifth place in this, uh, in this pool b and south africa got the 10th place so that's the last place um and yeah if you like this video press like if for some reason you don't like it press unlike and if you don't want to miss another videos on my channel press subscribe smash the bell button thanks for watching and see you in the next one